Okay, it's AP Calculus AB. Here's a question that you're gonna, it's gonna show up in the AP exam. It looks like crap, but it's really, really easy. So this is all I'm gonna do here. Let me tell you right now, I can just look at this and tell you that this limit is going to zero. How do I do that? This is what I'm looking at. I look at the exponential, highest exponential value of a variable in the numerator, and I compare it to that in the denominator. So this is 2x to the third power. This is 4x to the fifth, right? Which tells me that as x gets infinitely large, the, the denominator is going to grow much faster than the numerator. So really what I'm looking at is this. I'm looking at x cubed over x to the fifth. I don't even care about these lead coefficients. And that turns out to be 1 over x squared. Well, what happens is x squared gets used. What happens is x gets used, this thing gets squared. So you get 1 over this enormous number, which is approaching 0, right? Okay, so that's the quick way to do it. And that's how I would do it. If that's all you care about, then it's time for you to turn this video off and go to another one, frankly. But if you want to know, if I had to show the work on this, how I would do it, I would divide everything by x to the fifth power. x to the fifth power. And when you did that, you would get negative 2 over x squared, right? Plus 1 over x to the fourth over 4 plus 2 over x cubed plus 2 over x to the fifth. And if you take the limit of all of these pieces one at a time, they would look like this. I wonder if you're still even here. But anyway, so I'm going to do this piece. Then I'll do uh, this piece. So here, I'm going to take this as a limit process and say the limit as x goes to infinity of negative 2 over x squared equals 0. So this 0 becomes this 0, right? And then I'm going to take the limit of this one and say, what's the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x to the fourth? And of course, we have 1 over this number here. Of this enormous number so this is zero also we have zero over zero now as long as this doesn't go to crap on us we're going to be okay and look when i do this when i take these pieces here and i start taking the limit on them it gets really really clear because what's the limit of four as x goes to infinity limit of four as x goes to infinity there's no x involved so no matter what we do this is horizontal right no matter how the x value changes, it doesn't have any effect on this. So we have, now we finally have 0 over 4. And we're going to be adding these pieces here. So it's not going to change anything. But I can take these limits and say the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over x cubed. You're going to get 2 over this enormous number. That's 0, isn't it? I'm going to do the last one. So that was this one. I'm going to do the last one over here. And say, what is the limit of 2 over x to the fifth? as x goes to infinity and it has same thing again we have this fixed number at the top we have this enormously large number at the bottom and a fixed number over an enormously large number is zero so we have four plus zero plus zero is four so zero over four is defined it makes perfect sense and it's equal to zero so there's your answer hope this is helpful i know you guys are cramming you're trying to get all this done do a good job it's gonna be worth it i'm looking at fives okay so keep up the good work if you have questions or comments please let me know and hopefully you've already subscribed right Appreciate it.